What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I hope you can hear my voice, the determination, the enthusiasm, the refiguration. Got a couple emails over the weekend. One was from a viewer who must have the will of a thousand men and a stomach made of iron. Because he asked me if I had seen what took place around the three-hour mark of the Madden Challenge. Which would mean he had to watch three hours of this, which, as I said, rare feat. But then I also got an email from somebody claiming to represent people in the community, and I don't know if they thought I was like a 10-year-old YouTuber that rips mutt packs all day long in my pajamas on my parents' credit card, but let me tell you, if you think that I'm going to be pressured or fear-mongered or guilted into not making content, I hope, first of all, I hope that email wasn't real. Because what it did is I read it, I laughed at it, I deleted it, and it inspired this video. If it was real, you get to go back to your client and tell them, mission failed, and after I sent that, he made a video that outlined what took place. So with that said, I've edited some of these images and I've blurred some names to protect people that may or may not have their best interest of not appearing on my channel. If you go down in the video, I, I say this and then I don't do it, but description, comment section, somewhere, there'll be a link to the Madden Challenge. I want you to go to the three-hour, 14-minute, 44-second mark, and you'll hear them talk about 130 plays being ran, no passes. Tress Way is in a punter. Why is this significant? Because if you look at a tweet, it indicates, if you guys haven't already, suggest you go to YouTube, sub to this guy. Reason I was able to run every single play was because of a free video he put on YouTube dramatically changed how he plays the game go and look at this channel and you can see months ago they're talking about run glitches what does the run glitch revolve around things like this you've got a lineman at wide receiver to take advantage of blocking you've got a player at quarterback that is actually a punter to take advantage of handoff animations this is not simulation football this is not something that they're hiding. This was broadcast. How EA reacts to this astonishes me. Tomorrow's headline, laughing all the way to the bank. I mean, the response should be embarrassment. Not because he won. Congratulations. He finally won a tournament. Congratulations. In 10 years, he's won $200,000 playing Madden. He's a professional Madden player. Hats off. I love the fact that he did it in representing people we lost from our community. But the reality is, the way he did it and the way EA sells its product are two totally different things. They market this game as high-level simulation football, and the results of this were anything but that. It's documented and proven. He used videos where someone showed how to exploit the game eight months ago, EA never fixed those problems, and he was able to win a tournament with it. How is that skill? How is that football? Because he sat down, watched a video, learned how to do something, and then applied it? That's the best Madden player? That is not anything that represents what makes a good football player, what makes a good athlete. And you're right. I have a problem with it. A lot of people should have a problem with it. Not the outcome, but how it got there. Essentially, in my opinion, there's almost a level of cheating there. Not him personally cheating, the game doing the cheating. The game is being exploited. He's just putting it in motion. Can you really blame him? Can you really blame him? If you knew how you could go out and win, and all you had to do was set the game up to operate a certain way, then wouldn't you do it? I mean, most people would, especially if there's money involved. But that's not a fair, balanced, and competitive environment. Now, I understand EA can't go to them and say, hey, listen, you can't do this because then you make it a bigger story than it is. You remove somebody from your tournament because your game is broken. But I'm amongst the thought that they were hoping that he didn't win because they didn't want this to go public because it looks so bad. It's a poor reflection on the entire community when someone exploits a game and wins a major tournament and it shows up on national TV. We're already in a box of video games being looked down on and gamers being looked down on in a way in our society. 
And that's such an unfair thing because the gamers that I've met, the gamers that I know, the people that you probably go watch on YouTube as well, are some of the most well-spoken, educated, financially secure individuals. They're hardworking, they're motivated, they're driven, and they've made something of themselves with very little outside resources. You have gamers that go out and make such a name and brand that companies come to them. That wasn't possible 20 years ago. That wasn't even thought of 10 years ago, practically. Yet you have things like this that happen that just don't reflect well on the product. When you have Madden putting these players in the game as coaches, they're not going to put in these plays that they manipulate. In fact, I think we're all hoping they fix this. So it doesn't happen again. Because all we want is a more competitive balanced and fun game to play and if you're going to sit here and tell me that it's fun to have somebody run the same play 130 times to have the commentators joke that he put a punter in a quarterback then you and me have drastically different definitions of the word fun and competitive because if i was playing that individual i would be extremely frustrated not at them but of the quality of the game. And that's what we're talking about here. Not the individuals, but the quality of the game itself. And you know what? If they can fix the game and he can go still out and dominate, more power to him. Tip of the cap to you. I'm proud of you. But I think we all know that if it wasn't for exploiting the game in the fashion that he did, he may not have won. And that's why so many people are outspoken about this. And should be. He can win all the money in the world playing this game. The other side of it is you've got people paying good money for this game. And those people demand a good product, should have a good product, and shouldn't have to see the game get exploited in front of them. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out. And you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.